Okay, for the second verse, um, well, what I do is I add a little lead part. Hopefully my camera won't fucking go off this time. But I add a little lead part, and uh, it's not really in the original song, but eh, oh well. I added it just for shits and giggles. But what you do is you basically just strum each chord once of the verse. Then after that, the first little lead part starts off on the fifth string at the third fret, and what you do is just walk up one, two, three, and then you move to the fourth string on the third fret and walk up three. One, two, three. And then you hit the third you hit the uh the third string at the third fret and you just kind of vibrate it. So that's basically it. That's the first little lead part. And then you just do it over again. You go one, two, three. And then this little lead part starts off on the fifth fret of the third string with the ring finger. That's what well, that's what I use. And what you do is you bend it up. You bend it up and while you you're coming back down, you strum it a little so So, bend it up, uh strum it about I think two times, two three times. Then move to the third fret on the um on the third string. Then finally, uh, strum the uh, move to the uh, fifth fret on the fourth string, and strum that a couple times before you go back into the chord. So it's. Just, just bar these two, uh, the last two three on the first and the second string. Just strum those a little bit, and then you then you finish off the verse with the little hook. So. So up to full speed, that whole verse is. into the chorus now after that chorus there's a little kind of uh, breakdown bridge part that uh, Rancho, de Rancho does a couple of them uh, every once in a while in songs but basically it's just from C to B bass so it goes and then you go you slide all the way up to um, let's see. E, F, so it'd be a G. And it's best to go up to the high G right here. I mean, you could go here, but it doesn't sound exactly right. It's best to slide up the high G. Or if you want to be, uh, more lead oriented, you could just slide up to this right here. I think that's what Lars does most of the time. But uh, what how it goes is that's a lead part. That's the chord part. And then the final part is.
that's what I add on uh, when I do it. Is you go during the final one, you slide up. So you move up the five, and you just bar the five, the five on the first and the second string, and just strum it a little bit. And then you just move back into the verse, and this is kind of the slower verse, so you're just kind of like the first verse, still strumming more, but uh, just kind of slower and palm mute a little bit more, so. Ruby Soho. Ta-da!